This paper presents a study to understand the use of hand gestures for animating in VR and an animation tool built upon the findings. Our formative study tries to understand how animators approach virtual reality and hand gestures as a medium for animation authoring. Our focus was on dynamic phenomena where the mapping between the gestures and effects is indirect and ambiguous. We chose six effects in total, ranging from layering different transformations together to complex simulations of particle effects, cloth, and fluids. The study involved showing these scenes to 12 professional animators and getting their feedback on the desired commands and associated gestures. In this process, we collected a number of very interesting high-dimensional gestures. We also observed large variety in the nature of those gestural manipulations. For example, while some gestures were direct performances, others feature more abstract mappings to the control parameters. We utilized the study to formulate a set of design guidelines for gesture-based animation in VR. And to test the guidelines, we implemented a subset of the studied effects in Magical Hands. Magical Hands is an animation tool focused on gestural control of 3D transformations and of particle systems. Let's look at an example workflow to understand the user interface of this tool. Here, the user wants to create an airplane stunt scene with the airplane flying through hoops lit on fire. First, the user arranges and poses the static objects in the scene. Then, he animates the translation of the airplane using a live performance gesture. The user then sets up keyframes to specify how the airplane should rotate. And finally, he positions particle emitters around the hoops to depict fire and a smoke emitter behind the airplane. Let's look at another example to delve deeper into manipulation of particle systems using magical hands. In this scene, the user wants to create a dramatic depiction of a graduate student dealing with a deadline. To begin with, he gets a 3D painting of a busy student burning the midnight oil and positions him on the floor. Then he puts a rain emitter over him, followed by a cloud. But rain in an office space is unnatural. Something paper related might be better. Like this paper airplane, which he just drops into the emitter. Yeah, that's better, but maybe needs a bit more action. So the user decides to make a tornado over the student. First step, make the emission volume smaller as the paper planes approach the student. Then add some noise for a more dynamic feel to the scene. And finally, add a spiral motion gesture to create the tornado effect. Here's the final scene, which also has a shaking motion added to the cloud. Thank you for watching. Please see the paper for more details.